วัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone Welcome to JazzCooking.com Chef down here I'm so excited to show you how to prepare ต้มขาไก่ or chicken in coconut milk soup but vegetarian version Instead of chicken I'm g o i n g to use tofu So the name we call ต้มขาโชฟู or โชฟู in coconut milk soup The flavor very unique because ก a r l i n g o lemongrass c a f e l a m leaf and coriander Well let's begin But first, let me put my hair up and wash my hands again. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back now. Let's begin. So start with my g a l a n g o I'm just gonna remove some skin out, and then I'm with thin slices. I'm g o i n g to use seven slices, and I'm g o i n g to set aside. And for lemon crush, I'm just gonna smash. I will not cut it, a little bit chunks. After we cook, we can remove it out from your soup easily. And for c a f e l a m leaves, again, I'm just gonna remove the stem out and put aside together with the herbs. And for the chili, for this soup, I don't like it to be real spicy. I will cut my chili like big chunks because I like to taste of my coconut milk. And now for my c h a l o t s I will smash it as well and put aside together with the herbs. For my mushroom, I'm use straw mushroom. I will cut like quarters. For the mushroom, we can use any kind of mushroom, but I'm not recommend c h i t a k e t mushroom because it have very strong smell. Mostly we m e n e e smell from o l d herbs. For lamb, I'm always like to give my lamb Thai massage because when we squeeze out the juice, the juice come out easier. After I give them Thai massage, now I'm g o i n g to cut three pieces. First cut, I'm g o i n g straight. Second one, 45 degree diagonals, and from third pieces also 45 degree diagonals, and then you can remove out the seeds. And next will be coriander or some country we call cilantro. I'm g o i n g to cut off the root first, and then the rest I'm g o i n g to cut like one centimeter long. The root don't throw it away; it's very useful. And for the coriander root, I'm just gonna smash and put together with all the herbs. Now for my tofu, you can cut it any way you like. I'm recommend to use firm tofu, so when we put in the soup, it not disappear. We are more finished for our preparations, and next we're gonna start cooking. Well, we have easy preparations. When we cooking, it's even easier. Trust me. So in the pot, I'm start with one cup of water. Now it's boiling. I'm adding in lemongrass and g a l a n g o c a f e l a m leaves, coriander root, and shallot. For this soup, I don't like it's real spicy, so that's why I don't add my chilies right now. But if you like spicy, you can add the chilies in the same time with all the herb. Mm. Right now, I get all the smell from my herb already, and then adding in my tofu and mushroom, and I will cook this for three minutes. After boiling for three minutes, now I'm start seasoning with one tablespoon of palm sugar. And salty taste. I'm gonna use salt, one teaspoon of salt, or you can use soy sauce as well. But when I use soy sauce, it tend to turn my coconut milk turn brown color. That's why I'm rather use salt. And I mix well. And I'm gonna be adding in my chilies. So you see, I'm adding chili now. So the chili is not cooked long. Uh, the spicy taste is not come out. And now I'm adding one and half cup of coconut milk, and let the coconut milk boil for two minutes. After two minutes, you can turn off the heat. After I'm s w e e t off the heat, and then I'm with seasoning with sour taste from lamb juice. I'm with start only one first. I'm with taste. People eat different. Some will like more sour. Some will like more sweet. So you can adjust your sourness. When you taste what you're looking for, you will have sour, sweet, l e t salty, and very creamy from coconut milk. And when I'm served, 
for my version, I will serve everything in the same bowl, including my lemongrass, galangal, and cafe lamli. Everything is eatable. But if you like to remove out before serving, that fine too. And I will topping with my coriander, some color for my chilies. Look at that. Does it look beautiful, isn't it? Mm, and it tastes very yummy. This is so easy, right? Hopefully, you can follow me how to cook. Written recipe, please go to my website, dowscooking.com. More video coming, of course. See you next time. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.